Hey guys, your boy is here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Lucifer Season 6, Episode 9. So without further ado, let's get started. See? There it is. Definitive proof that the laws of nature are breaking down and the Earth as we know it is officially doomed. Right. Yeah, I, I can see how some of these things could be problematic. Frogs falling from the sky. That's humanity. How could I fail to notice something of this, this magnitude? Well, to be fair, none of us noticed. I noticed. Okay, I noticed. And I would have figured it out a lot sooner if any one of you would have let me into your little celestial in crowd. But no, you guys had to play sideline the scientists like everybody else. You need to become God. Now. Hold up. I thought your dad was God. Father of angels, best hugger in the world because he literally invented hugs. That, it all made sense. Dad was God, but then he retired to Mum's universe, incommunicado as ever. Probably thinks that the apocalypse is... Next time you see me, I'll be God. <laughs> Ruler of heaven and earth. Why is he doing that shruggy thingy with his shoulders? It's, it's very weird. I, I can feel my wings in there, but they don't just... They don't want to pop out. I, I... This has never happened to me before. I... Give me some room. I'll give it a jump start. Give me some room! Okay. Just, um, just give me a sec to think. Let's see. What's that? Nothing. Ah! Sympathy for the devil, my time with Lucifer Morningstar. Doesn't look like nothing to me. Okay. This is happening. At 3 a.m. without a bra. Um. So, in conclusion, if we divide and conquer the Doctor's sure to be fascinating book, then we should be able to solve my wingtuation in a snap. Save the devil, save the world, as it were. Maybe Lucifer's problem is that he promises to help people out, but then he just leaves them hanging. <laughs> yeah, good point, Dan. Dan, what? No, no way. Are you, are you telling me that Dan is here, like, in this room? Yeah, he's a, a ghost. Humans can't see him. Oh. Well, maybe your problem is that you are constantly keeping secrets from people who care about you. Miss, give it. it. It's not. We have a problem. Nope. No Lucifer epiphanies on this page. Guess we better just move on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did I mention this is a first draft and hasn't been edited at all? Which means that that is exactly what Lucifer said about us. Like, not exactly. How apparently he thinks I'm nothing but sunshine and rainbows. Not so sunshine and rainbows now, am I? Miss Lopez. I guess you don't really know me. I knew better than I thought I knew you. Well, to be fair, you do tend towards a glass half full attitude. <laughs> I cannot believe you kept that from me. And that, and I 
I held an angel feather in my hand, and you let me believe it was from an emu? Oh, well, I wouldn't get so upset about that. <laughs> Given the information you had at the time, I'd say emu feather was the most logical explanation. Now, can we just focus on the matter at hand, please? Huh? Me, wings. Uh, should I speed up or slow down? But you can read, right? Doesn't matter. There's no surprises about me in here. I'm just corrupt cop, shitty person, I get the gist. You are not a shitty person, Dan. You're literally reading about the time we killed a guy, Mace. <clears throat> Mace and Dan were headed downtown, thirsty for justice. <laughs> You're the one who set the Russians up to murder that guy? No, please. You're reading it all wrong. <laughs> Watching me walk around without a clue. But to be honest, Miss Lopez, I have always envied your ability to accept the divine in absence of proof. I suppose that's what faith is, isn't it? I lost my faith, Lucifer. I lost my faith after Charlotte died. And not one of you told me that you knew that she was in a better place. You didn't tell me that the big guy was still up there, that he still cared. That single set of footprints in the Lucifer? Wait, you're leaving? Yeah, I'll call you later. Wait! You just stay here. Yeah, it's my birthday. I have to go back. Don't go. Goodbye. Oh my god, are you okay? Have you seen Lucifer? No. Sorry. You're on your deathbed, and he's not there. He's never there. Oh, dear. Oh, uh, wow, okay, cool. Um, hey, Dan. Um, I'm so sorry I didn't say this sooner, but I really miss you so, so much. And I even named a frog after you. <laughs> tell her I met Frog Dan. And I'm super flattered. And tell her that I really miss her too. Also, also tell her that her favorite beaker rolled behind her filing cabinet last week. She's been looking for that. He said yo. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm summarizing. Just, just show her the thing, okay, please? Dan was. But I wasn't. I was just a lonely tangent. <laughs> yeah, um... <clears throat> Dan says that while you may not have known the specifics, that everyone here always loved and trusted you, Ella. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Dan says... You are the inner circle. If you guys really trusted me, you would have told me the truth. Like, like it's your choice to whip out your wings right now? Like it's your choice whether or not to let me in? What's happening to me? 
You know, I wore this for so many years because it proved that you chose to be vulnerable around me, but 